Hi everyone and welcome to today's Immunity Booster Yoga Flow. Come down to a kneeing position on your mat. Close your eyes and bring one hand to your heart and one on your belly. And let's start by taking a few deep breaths together. Inhale through your nose. Feel the air filling up your lungs and your belly. And then slowly exhale. Take long and deep breaths. In and out. Two more in and out. Then slowly open your eyes and make your way to a tabletop position. Press the tops of your feet down in the mat. Bring the knees under your hips. Engage your core. Spread your shoulder blades wide. And gaze down on the mat so that your neck is long. Inhale to drop the belly. Look up. Exhale round the spine. Let your head hang heavy. Four more like this in your own pace. Feel free to include any movement that feels good here today. Swing back and forth. Rotate your hips. Really warm up your whole spine here. And come back to a neutral spine. Bring your weight into the right hand and bring your left hand up to your shoulder. Inhale and lift your elbow up high, open up to the side. Exhale, lower the elbow back down under your torso and over to the right. Four more like this. Inhale to open up, maybe even look up. Exhale and bring the elbow down. Make sure you move with control here and link the movement to your breath. Last one. Elbow goes up. Exhale, bring the elbow down. Inhale and bring the elbow up one more time, but this time extend your arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your arm down, slide it over to the right side and lower down onto your left shoulder. To stretch the needle pose, make sure that your hips stay over your knees and only put as much weight into your shoulder as it feels good. You can extend your right arm to the front or keep it under your shoulder and enjoy the gentle wake up for your shoulders. Then press yourself back up. You can reach your left arm up to the ceiling one more time and then come back to your tabletop. Same on the other side. First bring your right hand to your right shoulder. And with your next inhale, reach the right elbow up to the ceiling or as high as it feels good today. Exhale, bring the elbow back down. Four more like this. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Reach the elbow up. Exhale and bring it down. Then reach your elbow up one more time. Extend your arm up to the ceiling. Spread your fingers wide. Exhale and come to thread the needle pose on the other side. Slide your right arm under your torso over to the left. Lower your right cheek and your shoulder down on the mat. 
and enjoy the stretch. You can walk your left hand to the front of the mat or just keep it where it is. Then close your eyes and breathe into your right shoulder. Then press your torso back up. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling one more time. Exhale and come back to tabletop. Then tuck your toes. Lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Take some time to arrive here. Check your alignment starting from the feet. Try to reach your heels down towards the mat. Bring your navel closer to your spine and let your chest sink down to the mat. Maybe try to bend both knees. Bring your belly onto your thighs. Reach your sitting bones up high and then extend your legs again. Inhale and bring your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest. Stay here or bring your right foot over to the left side and reach your left arm up to the ceiling for fallen triangle pose. Your left foot is parallel with the short end of the mat and you are balancing on your right arm. Lift your hips up a little higher. Then bring your hand back down. And come back to downward facing dog. Let's try the same on the other side. Inhale and lift your left leg up to three legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest. Then extend the left leg over to the right side. Bring the right heel down and reach the right arm up high to fall in triangle. Stay strong here. This is an advanced pose. Then bring your hand back down and step back to downward facing dog. Then look between your hands and slowly walk your feet forward to a forward bend. Grab opposite elbows here and swing from left to right. Gently bend your knees here. Then let go of your arms and roll up to a standing position. Roll your shoulders back and bring your feet together. Inhale and reach both of your arms up. Exhale and lower your hips down to chair pose. Tuck your tailbone under. Look down to your feet and make sure you can see your big toes here. Then bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Exhale and bring the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. For a twisted chair pose, try to keep the prayer in front of your sternum. Pull your belly button in, that makes it easier to twist. Then come back to center and we do the same on the other side. Bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee and twist over to the right side. Stay low in your legs here. You should feel a burn in your thighs. Then come back to center. Extend your arms and bring them down to the mat. Then extend both of your legs. And exhale for relief. <sighs> you can grab opposite elbows again here and swing from left to right. Then bend your knees. Bring both of your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Then look between your hands and step your right foot to the inside of the right hand. Bring your torso up for high lunge. First reach your arms up high, but relax your shoulders down.
Then bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart and bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee for a high lunge twist. Again, try to keep the prayer at your sternum. Then come back to center. Reach your arms up to high lunge. Exhale and open up for warrior two. Pivot the left heel down. Then extend the front knee. Reach the right arm forward and down to triangle pose. Imagine you get squeezed in between two walls here. Your right hand can be down on a mat, on your shin or on a block. Both of your legs are extended here. Then bring your attention to your core. Stay strong here and extend both of your arms to the front so they are framing your head. And then with the strength of your core, lift your torso up to standing. Shift the right foot around so all toes point into one direction. Exhale and leading with the heart, fold forward to wide-legged forward bend. Start to bend one knee and then the other, shifting your hip from left to right. Feel the gentle stretch between your legs. Then come back to center to your forward bend. Let your head hang heavy here. Then walk your hand over to the right. Ground both of your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale and step your left foot to the inside of your left hand. Inhale and bring the torso up to high lunge. Make sure to level your hips here. Then reach your arms up high. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Exhale and twist over to the left side. Bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Pull the navel in and up so you can twist a little deeper. Maybe you look down on the mat or to the back of the room. Then come back to center. Reach your arms up high. Exhale and open up to warrior two. Spread your arms out wide. Then extend the left leg. Reach forward and come down to triangle pose. Your arms should be in one line and your fingers are spread out wide. Imagine there's a wall behind you and you press both shoulders against this wall. Then engage your core and reach both of your arms to the front. We only stay here for one breath. And then bring your torso up. Point all toes over to the right. Exhale and bring your torso down to a wide-legged forward bend. Bring your right hand down on the mat below your face. Inhale and reach the left arm up to the ceiling. Then switch sides. Reach the right arm up. Then bring both of your hands down and walk them to the front of the mat, framing the left foot. And step back to downward facing dog. Let's take one deep breath here together. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, open your mouth. Then lower your knees down and extend your legs in front of you.
bend your left knee and bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Inhale, make your spine long. Exhale and walk your hands forward to head to knee pose. You can try to reach for your foot here or bring your hands down on your leg or on the mat. Let your head hang heavy. And feel how gravity is pulling you down. With each exhale, a tiny bit more. Then slowly walk your hands back in and lift your torso up. Bring your left knee up and step the left foot over the right leg. Hug your left knee with your right arm. Bring your left arm behind you. Inhale and lengthen your spine. Exhale and twist open to the left side. Relax your shoulders down here and maybe close your eyes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. And come back to center. Quick counter twist to the right. And we switch sides. Bend the right knee and bring the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. You can either sit on a blanket or bring a bolster under your right knee if this feels better. Then flex the left foot and slowly bend your torso over your left leg. Take deep breaths here into your lower back. Then slowly come back up. Bring your right knee up and step the right foot over the left leg. Hug your knee with your left arm and bring your right hand behind you. There should be no weight in your right hand. It's just here to support the twist. Inhale and reach the crown of your head up high. Exhale, bring the navel closer to the spine and twist open to the right. Take deep and slow breaths here. Then come back to center. And we set up for fire lock pose. Bring your left chin down on the mat so it's parallel with the mat. Stack your right leg on top of it so your right ankle is on your left knee. Flex both of your feet. Make sure that both of your shins are parallel to the mat and that your sitting bones are grounded down. You can bring a block or bolster under your right knee. Then stay here or walk your hands forward and let your torso fold over your legs for a deep hip stretch. Slowly lift your torso back up and switch sides. Bring the right chin down on the mat so it's parallel to the mat. Put your left leg on top of it. Flex both of your feet and really ground down evenly into the mat. Stay here or walk your hands forward. 
Inhale and exhale, sink a little deeper, just a few millimeters. Let your head hang heavy and bring your attention to your breath. Inhale and exhale. And slowly bring the torso back up. Bring your block to the back of your mat. We will need it in a second. Then lay down on your back and set up for shoulder stand. So make sure you don't move your head around in this pose. Bend your knees and first bring them into your chest. Then lift your hips up and extend your feet up to the ceiling. Bring your hands on your lower back, fingers pointing to your buttocks. Close your eyes and continue to breathe. You can stay here or lower your feet behind you down on the block. To plow pose. Be careful in this pose and only do it if it feels good. When your toes reach the block or the mat, you can extend your arms down on a mat. Don't move your head here. Just focus on your breath. Then bring your hands back to your lower back and come back to shoulder stand. And then slowly, vertebra by vertebra, lower back down. Bring your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Extend your legs. Then open up your arms. Bring your shoulders away from your ears and make your neck long. Take one more deep breath in. Open your mouth. Ah. Shavasana. Then slowly deepen your breath. <sighs> Extend your arms over your head and roll over to one side. Then come up to a seated position. And bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Take one more deep breath in and 
and out. Then bow your head down. Thanks for practicing with me today. Namaste.